Everyone has a story and everyone has a coaching program to go along with it. I remember being at an event where people were sharing their stories and then selling their coaching programs. And by the third one, I was so bored. I realized that everybody's got a story that'll break your heart and everybody's got something to sell. It, it is a saturated environment out there right now. It's a saturated market. And if I was bored, how many other people are bored? They're tired of hearing the same thing over and over and over again. And I instantly thought about my own self, my own story, my own business. And I thought, wow, am I boring people with repetitiveness, with things that don't really relate? You see, in order to have a coaching business, you do need to be in touch with your story, but not just any part of your story, part of your story that connects with other people. And I realized that day, that's what was missing. I wasn't connecting to the people's stories. They weren't making that connection for me. They weren't allowing me to enter into their story and putting something inside of me that says, I need what you have. You have solutions for me. You have answers for me. No, I was listening to them, their perspectives, their ideas, and it didn't connect. And I made a really interesting observation that day. I observed that if we don't take our story and connect it to real life people, well, it's just another story. It's just another coaching program and it's boring. People don't want boring. And here's what's interesting. Your story, I can guarantee you that you have a story that is meant to connect with someone. The things that you have gone through in your life, they matter. And the things that you have experienced, somebody else needs. What we need to know is how do we connect the dots? How do we actually tell parts of our story that people actually care about? That's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on the parts of our story that have solutions for others in mind. You want to share your story with others in mind. It kind of reminds me of a time when I used to work with artists a lot and artists love to create and they create for themselves. They love to put out artwork that nobody understands. But the artists that would do so well in their business was they would put pieces of themselves in art that connected to the outside world where you'd look at something and go, Ooh, I feel like they're talking right to me. And that's what you want to do. You want to talk directly to people. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, we need to become experts at connecting with people. We need to get out there and we need to be able to listen to people. So right now on social media, there's this whole idea of becoming a producer rather than a consumer. And I believe in that. I believe that we are meant to create content, but something that might be really important as well is to scroll and see what people are saying. Creating conversation on your social posts that allow for people to add to your thoughts rather than us just telling them. That's a way for us to get what's called market research. We need to know what people's pain points are. We need to know what they're feeling on the inside and then take that information and say, okay, that's the part of my story that I will tell. I'm going to leave out all the other information that really nobody cares about. And I'm going to share what they do care about so that I can connect with them. But the only way we'll know is if we're actually creating conversation and I can do that. I can do that on social media. I can do that in my posts, but you know where else we can do that? In real life. It's beautiful. We now have the opportunity to get out there with people in real life, having coffees, going to events, reading books and listening to podcasts that are in our realm, in our niche, but that allow us to get the perspectives of what are people saying? Because we don't want to assume that we know what people need. In fact, I've done this. I've created entire programs for people thinking this is what they need. There I am in my secret layer. I'm preparing it all. And then I put it out to the market and there's crickets. Have you ever had that where you work so hard on an online course, a book, a, a new product that you want to bring out there and you realize that it just drops crickets. When there's crickets, we need to pay attention to the silence. 
we need to pay attention to what's not resonating because it's not that your message isn't good. It's not that your coaching program isn't good. It's not that people don't need what you have. It's that we're missing that middle. We're missing the opportunity to connect our story and our products and what we have with people. I recently got to interview a very fascinating entrepreneur from New York City. You'd think that people from New York City have all the opportunity in the world, but he's just like you and he's just like me. And he wanted to bring a journal. He wanted to bring a journal to the market. I don't know if you realize this, but I love journals and I walk into the bookstore all the time. And when you walk in the bookstore, there are already so many journals. So why put another one out in the market? Well, you know what this guy did? He interviewed 400 people and he asked them, what would you like in a journal? He asked people, 400 people. Now he serves a creative audience. So he cold messaged, he went on the Google and you can do this too. Go on Google, Google your industry. If you're working with single moms, Single moms, where are they gathering? Where, wh wh what are the communities they're a part of? What are the Facebook groups they're a part of? Get out there and talk to them. So he found 400 people to talk to and he messaged every single one. 80% of them responded back. Now there's always the risk that people won't respond and that's out of our control. But the people who do are going to give you very valuable information. They're going to give you feedback. They're going to give you what they really want. People want to tell you what they want and what their needs are so that you can meet them. And what's beautiful is this gentleman has now been in business since 2018 and it is a worldwide known journal business. Can you believe that? Just because he decided to talk to people. So what do you want to create out there? What kind of change? What solutions are you bringing to the world that people need? What do you have the courage to create? If you have the courage to create something, let's use the time that you have. Let's use the knowledge that you have to connect with real life people. That's so important. And so when you're talking to people, you're finding out what they want, you're connecting new dots for your business, light bulbs are going to go off. I find that sometimes when I'm by myself in my office, all coming up with all my plans, I lose my creative ideas. But then I get out there and I talk to somebody and I find out what they need and new light bulbs are going off. Oh, I never thought I could do this and this could help them with that. That's what I get from being able to get out there talking to people. It gets you un stuck. It allows you to be able to see what resonates and finding out what's going to serve others because that's what we're doing in business. We're serving others. Your story doesn't serve you. Your story serves others. Your coaching program, whatever it is that you're offering as a solution, it serves others. And then the last thing I want to share with you in this video is I want to share with you beta your progress. And what I mean by beta is actually get there out there and try it. Don't just come up with the idea. Don't just talk to people, but actually gather a small group of people and do what's called a beta. So I remember the very first coaching program I ever launched. I was so nervous. I came up with my plan in my room. It was a great plan, but I needed to try this out on real people. So I asked six of my friends who I knew were interested in what I was offering. I said, would you journey with me for six weeks and allow me to try out my material on you? I'm going to do this for free and I'm going to allow you to give me feedback. And if you like it, I'd love to get testimonials. I'd love for you to share with your friends. Well, those six people gave me such valuable insight and I was able to try out my ideas in a safe environment, which gave me courage because a lot of people who I coach and who are out there, other people who I've heard, what gets us stuck is that we don't think our ideas are good enough. We're afraid. We, we get paralyzed by fear. We, we get into our fight flight or freeze mode and we don't do anything because we're overwhelmed. If you can try your ideas out on real life people, 
You're going to gain confidence. You're going to lose the fear. You're going to be able to step into your business in greater ways than you ever thought imaginable. So don't just have a story. Think about how does it connect with real life people? Get out there, talk to people, create conversation in your social media posts, interview people, cold call people, go on websites and email and see who responds and then beta, beta what you do, beta your progress, beta your program and see what people say. It's going to give you so much courage while you're on this journey. While you're on this journey of discovering what it looks like to have your own business, why not go to failuretoflourishing.com. In this free online course, we're taking you on a journey through our story on how you can turn all the things that have happened to you in your life to be able to flourish in your life. And what I would love for you to do as well is watch how we do this. Because maybe what all you need is someone to follow, someone to copy, copy what we do. Go on the course. Watch how simple we've made this. We're seeking to connect with you to serve you better. And why not put out a free online course to connect with people, get their feedback. I would love to hear your feedback on our course. Anytime you can email me, Connie at wellnessinnovate.com. Love to hear your feedback on our course. Take our ideas, run with it, but make them your own. Make them your own. You have a story. You have solutions. People need them. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button because we have more valuable information for you. Can't wait to share more with you. Have a great day.